Hello everyone, welcome to module 8 and 9 of uh, NA10. So this is basically about gonna be about Google Sheets and Airtable nodes. So Google Sheet nodes, of course, you already know what Google Sheets is, but what are the use cases and uses or basically the functions of the node Google Sheets in NA10, that is what we're going to discuss here. So let's directly dive into it. Why use these nodes? Google Sheets, they are great for storing, organizing and retrieving structured data. Google Sheets is perfect for quick setups and AI table for more advanced databases. Uh, Google Sheets, of course, uh, you would find it very simple. It's very familiar spreadsheet interface, which you have already worked upon quite a lot. I'm pretty sure about it. So it's kind of a very quick setup to be done. And then there is Airtable, which of course we talk into much, much more detail because Airtable is something which excites me really quite a lot. Uh, it's more like an advanced database with much rich fields and much more database features in it, with even having some native automation capabilities inside the Airtable itself. So yeah, let's start off with Google Sheets, of course. Let's go back to our workflow and let's create Google Sheets. And we see there are three trigger actions and then there are 10 normal actions or of course the node actions inside the Google Sheets node. Perfect. So what are the trigger options on row added on row updated and added or updated. So let's say you have created a database where you want to trigger another workflow. The moment that something happens inside a particular cell or a row, right? Like let's say the moment that a new row is updated, you want to trigger a workflow and it's a lead which is coming in and the entire lead information is being filled. And the moment that you get it into the Google Sheets node, a calling workflow starts in which you have uh, attach or integrated retail, WAPI, 11 labs, these AI calling agents, and they get all the information from that particular Google Sheet and they start calling. Now, of course, I've built something like this. I'd show you exactly how that works. Now, what is the difference between added, updated or this like added or updated, of course. So added is whenever a new row is added, updated is probably going to be on a particular cell that the moment that any row is updated. Okay. So make the decision very wisely as to what you're going to use in which of the cases, right? So the, those are the two and added or updated kind of the more riskier way to go about it. You're putting in both, but yeah, if you're unsure and you want to do it, just go ahead with that. So now actions. Uh, actions, of course, create a spreadsheet. You already saw an example of this delete a spreadsheet. You totally can. You can click on this. Let's let's go ahead with clicking on this. Let's say delete. And the moment that I choose the, any of the list out of all these and I click execute step, that spreadsheet would be deleted. Then we have append or update row in a sheet. Now this action does both. OK, uh, it append is basically creating an entire row or adding on the data and updating is more like updating a particular cell inside a row, whichever you want to do it. Right. The difference between both of those would be, of course, append. You will need not to put in any matching columns. OK, whereas update, you will have to put in a matching column as to which row do you need to update. So let me show you how this functions and this actually works. Append. OK, so if you're going into the append row node and we are clicking, let's say our init and demo sheet that we created and the sheet we select, of course, is going to be the sheet one. The moment that this is done, we would get both of the columns, the name and the email here. And here we need not to manually map something as a key or a primary key that, OK, this row needs to be updated because you are appending an entire row. Whereas if you put an update row inside the operation, what you will see is there's this column to match on one more new column which got created. And this is where we will need to select one of the columns, either name or email, which would become like a primary key and it would always be static. You cannot delete it, cannot remove it here. This particular column would be used to match. So you will have to put in the information of the node and uh, Whichever the next dynamic value that you're filling in an email would be matched upon based on the basis of name. So it's more like a primary key that, okay, if this particular row contains pre sync, then only put in this information in front of that row. Now let's see what other operations do we have here. The next one is of course clear, right? Which is delete all the contents or a part of the sheet. You can of course remove, delete any such information which you want to delete as permanently delete a sheet. You've already seen this delete rows or columns into a sheet. So if you have some particular row that you want to delete when some workflow is being triggered, let's say uh, you have created a workflow where in one Google sheet you have pasted the first people who have done the first follow up. And now the people who have received the first follow up. Now you want to send them to a sheet with the second follow up. So it of course deleted from the first follow up sheet, right? So that's more like managing your CRM on Google sheets. So in that case, you can use this delete rows and column sheet. Get rows gonna be one of the most useful operations out there because whatever sheet you have created, this particular operation would be able to fetch out those rows. And yeah, the best thing is here we can add a filter 
basically means that if you have some people who are qualified into some particular category let's say uh, you have created a google form or leads ambition came in who told their budget is around 1 lakh rupees 50000 10000 20000 something like that so in the meta leads form you what you have put in is a static mcq and you only want to filter out the people who are 1 lakh rupees or above that you can do it by here you can click on column you can click on pricing if you have that column of course there and then put in a value that okay this should match this much value this is where you can combine filter like you can put in more columns uh, combine filters and an or basically means that both of these should be true or or means either one of this is true like that's like the logical get explanation of that so this was get rows in sheet operation and this was the entire google sheets column you already know how to connect your google account just simply click on this click on create new credential sign in sign in with your roauth account and that's it there you go so yeah coming back to our ppt uh create new rows you have already seen it add new rows to your sheet uh, when data comes from forms apis other sources uh, update sales whenever data changes fetch data for other automations right retrieve data that's get rows option which we used so that's all about module number 8 of google sheets node uh, see you in the next video